A very good morning to all. Myself, Dr. Anzar Ahmed, and in this video, I'm going to talk about signaling system. So, what is a sig signaling system, and where it uh, stand in switching system, or what is its role and responsibilities? So, first of all. Let's try to get the definition of switching system already we explained many times though I don't want to miss it here because somewhere it will lead to us to the importance of signaling system. A switching system is a collection of switching elements arranged and controlled in such a way as to set up communication path between any two distant points so just you can see that uh, uh, you can see that uh, a switching system is a collection of switching elements and what are the switching elements of course we will see soon and how uh, they are very important for any switching system the switching system is a collection of switching elements arranged and controlled in such a way as to set up a communication path between any two distance point okay so first of all uh, it was the definition of uh, switching and this is the type of switching already we have covered these all switching circuit switching massive switching packet switching and cell switching so we have covered these switchings if you if you want to know more about that one you can uh, just click uh, the types of switching system then the next one is elements of switching system as uh, already we have seen in the definition of switching system that is switching system is the arrangement of switching elements so what are those elements involved that is first one is and instrument and instrument or and system and like telephone or the instrument uh, by which or handset by which we are um, able to receive or transmit the message to the other end transmission system that is by which we uh, by which uh, the uh, signals propagate and the switching system and then signaling so all uh, we have covered these things now this is signaling this is the uh, topic which we have to cover signaling system the introduction of signaling system was the big step in improving the PSTN okay so uh, uh, PSTN means public switch telephone network so it was the uh, signaling uh, was a big step to involve the to involve uh, to involve it into the PSTN the signaling system are essentially building blocks in providing the ultimate objective of a worldwide automatic telephone service standards so all functions in ma manual switching uh, or the all signal system which were used in manual system in manual uh, switching system was by the operator but uh, with the advent of automatic switching uh, things has been changed a lot a signaling system in communication network exchange information effectively between a subscriber so uh, signal system uh, is very important uh, part of any switching system uh, to convey the information effectively between the subscribers so what is signal key in fact so there may be a lot of definition but uh, at least you should know the concept or the theme of the signaling signaling allows management of a call you can say in short how call takes place or how call will route how a call goes from one uh, exchange to another say how we dial the number how we uh, get the ringtone and these all so these are conveyed conveys by the uh, management of a call which involves signaling In telecom switching signaling has the following meaning so it can be uh, further uh, defined as the use of signal for controlling communication so uh, it may be also one meaning the use of signals that is signalings are important signals to control the communication the information exchange concerning the establishment and control of the telecom circuit and the management of the network in contrast to user information transfer 
so when two users talk to each other then how they should be uh, establish the call or terminate the call or maintain the call it is looked after by the uh, signaling system the sending of signal from the transmitting end of the telecom circuit to inform user at the receiving end that a message is to be sent so signal is just the uh, backbone of any communication system without uh, the imagination of signaling system you cannot uh, imagine the uh, good communication system signaling the exchange of information between call components required to provide and maintain services okay the exchange of information between call component required to provide and maintain service for example request for service request for dialing digits provide dial tone accessing voicemail sending a call waiting tone etc these are all part of signaling uh, as a signaling the role of signaling can be defined by the definition of switching that is switching system is to establish maintain and, call, uh, and release the call and uh, who help out to 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 for perform all functions that is in fact signaling so signaling has a broad meaning in any communication system most of the uh, most of the uh, things uh, or the or the or we can say uh, let me say like if you want to make the call successful then signaling plays a plays an important role form of signaling how many top uh, how many form of signaling we have we have three type of signaling in communication supervisory or line signaling routing or register signaling and management or inter register signaling so what are these let's get line signaling is concerned with conveying information on the state of the line or channel so these are concerned when we start the call that is uh, near to the line or channel these are the signals necessary to initiate a call setup and to supervise it okay so these are very important these are uh, important to initiate a call setup and supervise it okay these are also referred as subscriber group signals because uh, this is near to the subscriber this is the first signaling by which uh, a subscriber come into contact some example of uh, supervised signals like uh, request for service when you want to make a call then you, you offer your phone okay ready to receive as soon as you offer your phone then you listen a dial tone this is also a signal call alerting and then uh, when you digit some numbers and it get connected then you get some ring tone then call termination after the after the conversation you just on hook your telephone this is also a signal then call party when uh, any ring back if you are able to uh, get connected to the uh, to the uh, subscriber desired sub uh, subscriber then you get a ring back if the person is busy then in that case you get a busy tone so this on off hook dial tone ringing on hook ringing back busy tone these are all uh, all part all all form of signaling which is called line signaling or supervisory signaling okay so without uh, signaling you cannot imagine uh, one time or the other times you don't know the importance of signaling you just get up or off the um, phone and you start dialing your number and enjoy the conversation and just off of the on hook uh, the phone again and uh, forget uh, forget what happens in telecom switching and who did it to make the uh, to make it successful or to enjoy you okay so this is very important starting from your off hook you uh, you have a lot of signaling uh, in all register routing signaling after an off hook as soon as you off hook line signaling initiate register signaling to accomplish the exchange of telephone numbers of called party okay so when you start as uh, dialing the number then uh, register or routing signaling come into picture register signaling concerned with the conveying address information such as calling or call telephone system so uh, when you start uh, your your uh, you off the phones then your uh, number uh, just convey to the exchange and when you number some dial uh, to the call subscriber then of course uh, it is taken by the uh, line uh, to find out where the uh, users uh, users belong okay so this is the right register or routing signal register that is 
uh, it is passed from one uh, store it 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 is stored and forwarded by many registers okay to find the route that's so th this is called the register routing signaling when register signaling occur line signaling remains quiet okay unless the calling party goes on off hook or an abnormal termination of the call occur such as due to equipment malfunction or shutdown okay so when uh, one uh, signaling like uh, uh, register signaling occur then line signaling keep quiet okay the basic information is the dial code which indicates to the sub subsequent switching center that required so you start just dialing some number or the isd or the study code or local code and things uh, come into picture to find the route or to find the uh, uh, to find the uh, call subscriber inter register or run signaling these signals are used to convey information or control between exchange it is also referred as inter exchange signaling okay this signaling involves remote switching of private circuit routing plans modification of routing plans traffic overlay or priority of the call class of services etc so inter register or trunking signaling is the third form of signaling uh, which are helpful uh, to convey information or control between exchange that is uh, the user want uh, to get connected with these subscribers and uh, this is the uh, this is the facility which it avails like uh, that number uh, whom, uh, whom calling subscriber is uh, calling that is that belongs to the uh, ISD or SD or local it is also referred as inter exchange signaling this signaling is all involves remote switching of private circuit okay suppose uh, I have some some uh, numbers uh, which is uh, which does not belong to the PS10 but belongs to the operator some operator tell or um, Vodafone or some other uh, private operator reliance etc then uh, routing plans modification of routing plans traffic overload priority of the calls class of super class of service so this is class of service uh, uh, which service uh, that person will traffic load that is how much traffic is carried by that uh, route and priority of the call that is uh, it is important priority of the call means that is calls belongs to the vip non vip or common man so these all are part of signaling system so you can just uh, you can uh, understand that how much uh, signaling system is important in telecom switching because uh, it involves uh, every every place in uh, set up the call and release the call so it was uh, so guys it was all about the sing signaling system and if you're not getting anything let me know and if you want to give some suggestions uh, then i would like to listen to improve the lectures till then uh, take care and have a great time